Hi, in my last video I installed a security management server and in this video we will install a security gateway. So again we will go to file, new virtual machine and follow the uh, same steps as we did as with the management server apart from the odd slight changes. So um, most of it is exactly the same for the VMware portion of it apart from the network interface cards where we will add an extra one. So uh, let's leave it as custom. Click next. Uh, click next on hardware compatibility. Uh, leave it as I will install the operating system later. Click next. Uh, leave it with the uh, Linux 2.6x kernel 64 bit. Click next. Give it a name. So we'll give this one name as uh, CP Gateway. Click next. Uh, processors. Click next. RAM memory, give it one gig or more, and click next. NAT again, we'll leave it. The, sorry, we'll leave the network connections as NAT uh, because I like to have the same IP addressing wherever I take my laptop. So click next here on the uh, control types. So leave it as default, as well as the disk types. Leave it as default. Click next. Uh, create a new virtual disk. Click next here. Again, I'd just give it a 40 gig storage space. The more the better. Click next. And click next on the disk file name as well. Leave it as default. And here we can go for customized hardware. Give it an extra uh, network card. Network adapter. Next. Um, you can give it a bridge one if it's on the uh, other side of the network. Click finish here. So now it's got two uh, network adapters. One's in that mode, one's in bridge mode. Uh, the other thing we want to do is point to the ISO image to boot from. So use ISO image file, browse to it. And it's the checkpoint R77 image. So click that, click close here. Click finish here. And we've built our... Uh, base virtual machine we can power on the virtual machine now and configure the gateway so select install Gaia on this system I'll pause the video now and uh, once I start up again we can further configure Gaia so from here we can verify the machine information or we can click OK so um, select OK. Uh, select a country. There's no UK, so I will go for the US option. Uh, specify the percentage of disk allocation from here for each file system area. I'll just stick with the defaults. Click OK. Uh, specify a password for Gaia. And click OK. Now it's having a look at the network interface cards. Uh, specify a network interface card and then click OK to configure it and uh, give it an IP address. My IP address will be 10.10.20.10 and default gateway will be 10.10.20.1. Click OK and confirm everything is OK and hit the OK button and it will start to prepare the installation. So I'll pause it again and I'll start it once it's uh, ready. Right, so the installation is complete and we can reboot Gaia. I'll pause the video again. So now the gateway is back up and running, we can log in. And it will specify that you have to configure the rest of the system via a browser. So what we can do is open up a browser. and we can log in from here It's having a, a problem with the loading up and I think that's with the bridge connection. So I've configured the interface 
which is uh, set up as bridge mode uh, with the NAT settings, the NAT IP addressing. So I'll temporarily change that to NAT as well, and uh, hopefully it should be able to log in then. So I'll just pause the uh, uh, recap. Okay, so I've now fixed the network card settings, so we should be able to log in. Let's uh, try that again. And yeah, we can now log inside the certificate exception. Log into the portal. And follow the first time wizard. So we can click next here. We can leave the IP settings as it is because it's correctly uh, configured. Give it a host name, something like CP Gateway, uh, domain name, and DNS settings. Optionally, you can use the proxy settings, but you need the address and port information for that. Uh, click next here. Set the time or use uh, an NTP server from here. Click next. So you can specify either security gateway or security management server or multi-domain server. Uh, we're building a security gateway so this option is fine. So click next here. We can untick security management. This can be a security gateway so untick that. You can optionally configure clustering uh, settings from here if the security gateway was part of a cluster. And you can leave this tick box on automatically download blade contracts and other important data, highly recommended. So I'll click next here. Uh, does this gateway have a dynamically assigned IP address? Uh, no, so that's fine. So we're using a static one. There are some environments that use dynamic IP addresses, but for the majority, they use uh, static IPs. So click next there, give it an activation key. So uh, this is needed for secure SIC trust relationship with the management server so both the gateway and the management server can communicate securely and trust each other so specify a key here and we'll need this later when we are adding the gateway to the management server so click next and click finish so this will go away and configure the uh, checkpoint settings so we'll pause the video and come back when it's done so we must uh, restart the system from here, so if we click OK, the system will be restarted and I'll pause it. Okay, the system is back up and running, so we've now installed the security gateway. We've configured it and installed it, but it doesn't belong to a security management server, so that's the uh, next uh, task we have to do. So if we just log in for now. And um, it's come back with the browser portal and the dashboard uh, already open. I built a security management server previously for uh, this security management server here. It's called CP Management. And now we can add the security gateway to this management server. So what we can do is right click checkpoint, uh, click on security gateway management. Uh, you can choose either of these uh, options. We'll just go with just go with classic mode for now give it a name cp gateway give it an ip address 10.10.20.10 um, just verify these settings are alright so the platform the it's an open server it is r77 the operating system is Gaia and so that, that looks pretty much fine you've got your blades here you can uh, configure these later and the final bit is the SIC key so the activation key. So we, if we click communication here, and we can specify our SIC key to establish a trust relationship. And click on initialize, and it says trust established. So that's uh, good news. So if we click OK here. That's pretty much done, so it's automatically got us the topology information as well. So let's click close here.
let's click OK in here and here's our CP gateway so it's been added to this uh, management server and that's pretty much it for this video thank you for watching